You know the book The Secret that kind of tells you if you draw a picture of a boat, then one day you'll get a boat. You want something, you just think about it and you ask the universe for it and the universe will, will deliver it. I'm pretty sure that's utter shit. <laughs> um, I'm not slagging the woman off for writing a book purely because she made a fortune telling other people how to get what they want while writing a book about getting what she wants and got what she wants by selling the book. It's kind of how a lot of our self-help books work. Because I always wonder, did the person who actually wrote the book have the success in the first place, or did they get the success out of selling the dream to somebody else and thus got their success by selling a dream? I, it's an interesting one. What I wanted to talk a little bit about was the, the idea of like positivity. So you meet people all the time who are obsessed with positivity. We've got to be positive. We've got to be thankful, right? And I don't think there's anything wrong with being very thankful in the, in the, in the, in the first world. Um, you know, we talk about first world problems, about being very grateful for what we have. And I think that's so important. I talked about a video earlier on about context and people's different perspectives. Imagine people in, in a less privileged country looking at us and thinking we're fucking complaining about bad internet and this and that and they're like where's the next meal coming from we've got you know dictators war-torn countries or whatever it might be so obviously the, you know being thankful is really important but i'm not sure like sitting down and writing affirmation and stuff is actually going to get you anywhere because so many people who are super positive have this attitude but they don't put the work in they don't put the nitty gritty in because they're too busy asking the fucking universe for stuff they're too busy too busy trying to be super positive and spread the message without doing what the work is they sort of sit back going if i'm super positive then you know everything's gonna land on my doorstep i think it's very odd but one thing people don't talk about which is really unfashionable is actually negativity now i did a video about being nice but the fact of the matter is that people aren't nice people find being nasty easy and the world is full of negativity and I'd, I'd hate to be a parent hopefully one day I will be uh, if everything's working but you never know um, because any one interaction you have with your kid could could can affect your kid for life and you can't walk around on eggshells you know you one bit of like you know lack of encouragement too much encouragement and suddenly you've got a serial killer who you know the, the, the complexities of of parenthood are amazing but all those interactions we have with people what you take for granted a conversation with an employee a colleague a friend can ultimately affect them. It's really interesting, but a lot of people don't really realize that they're harnessing negativity. And I think negativity is such an important tool to be used because if you're really positive, that's great, oh, you're fantastic. But how many times have people gone, you're not very good at this, you're not very good at that, and you've gone, fuck off, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking prove you wrong. And you go away and do it. You know, your parents say you'll never make a career out of that and you go and do it. Your friends laugh at you, saying that you can't do this, you shouldn't go there, and you make a success of it. So it's really interesting, when people are negative towards you, try and harness that. Open a book, write down what people have said, and use it to fuel your fire. It is much more important to use negativity to fuel you on. Obviously, at some point, you have to address that negativity because it can also be your undoing. But for a lot of people, it could be your recipe for success. So utilizing other people's disrespect, other people's disregard for you, questioning your talent and your abilities is a fantastic way of, of getting on. You know, throughout my career, when I was playing rugby, so many coaches didn't understand how to communicate with me. They were very negative in their approach. But instead of going, do you know what? Oh my God, I'm gonna give up, I can't take it, no one's positive. I went, fuck off. I wrote their exact words down in a book and pre-game, I used to look at it and reflect on it and go, I've got my process nailed. So that's the training, that's the extra work. Cause you can't just walk around going, I fucking, you know, I'm gonna prove everyone wrong. You need to learn from what they've said and is there any truth in it? You need to have self-awareness, but that's, I'll explain more of that in another video. But you need to put the work in, but also using that to fuel your fire. So when a lot of positive people go, oh, I'm so positive, I'm gonna stay in today, I'm not gonna train. You've got the other person that's fueled by someone saying, you're never gonna get in shape. You're never gonna fucking exercise. You're never gonna achieve. The other person's going, I'd like to thank the universe today. Um, I wanna thank, you know, I wanna thank my friends, my family. I'm so, it's like, fuck off. I think it's a really important thing to think about. So when people are negative, use this as a tool to power you through, especially in this lockdown, we've got so many negatives. Harness them, use them, write down how you're gonna achieve them, Work out the process, and that's sometimes the hardest bit. It's not why, no one gives a shit about your why, everyone has a why. Why I do something is different from your why, but as long as there is a fucking why, that's important. The how is the tricky part, that's by reaching out to different people, upskilling yourself. Um, but actually doing it and using negativity for fuel is really important. So just a little thought for you guys to uh, check out and see if you agree. If you want to ask the universe for a canoe, crack on.